All right, so we're going to make this uh, roller coaster. Um, it's kind of a modern roller coaster um, with the metal rail in the middle to support it. Uh, maybe in the future I'll make a tutorial on how to do the uh, the old uh, the old-fashioned roller coasters. Those are a little more complicated. All right, so we're going to go to front view one on the numpad. Let's uh, go up close. Tab to go into edit mode. And I'll scale it down on the Z axis like this. Let's go to top view seven on the numpad and scale it down on the Y axis like this. Um, let's press, um, uh, let's see, let's add a loop cut here. Control R, left click twice. Let's press. Z4 to go into wireframe view, and then 3 on the keyboard to go to face select, like, select these faces. And we're going to delete faces. Um, let's add a modifier. We're going to add a mirror modifier. Let's go back into solid view. And um, 2 to go to edge select. 2 on the keyboard to go to edge select. Select this edge here. Let's go back to top view 7. And move this up on the Y axis, GY. Move it like this. Let's go to back view, control numpad one, add a loop cut here, control R, left click once, drag it over here. Let's press three on the keyboard to go to face select, select this face, go back to top view seven on the numpad. Let's extrude this up on the Y axis, EY, extrude it up like that. Um, let's press tab to go into object mode and, and then let's just apply the mirror modifier. We're gonna add a Cylinder shift a mesh cylinder. I'm going to scale the cylinder down like this to about here Let's move it on the y-axis GY move it down to here. Let's duplicate it shift D and Move the duplicate over here. Let's scale it down like that to about there Let's give this a mirror modifier and the mirror object is going to be this thing here the cube Let's apply the mirror modifier um, okay, now let's go to back view, control, numpad one. And with these selected, let's give them a constraint. Go here to constraint properties, add object constraint, copy scale, disable X and Y, and just leave seven. I mean, just leave Z. And then the, the target is going to be the big cylinder. Okay. Now select the big cylinder and scale it up on the Z axis, SZ, like this. Okay, and now the, for the big cylinder, let's um, right click and shade smooth, and then go here to object data properties and then normals, and then click auto smooth, and let's do the same thing for the small cylinders, right click, shade smooth, click auto smooth. Let's select the cube, and then shift select the cylinders, and we're going to join them, control J, join them, so they're one piece. Uh, let's go to Material properties and um, actually let's make sure we're in material preview and we're going to change the base color to red like that. Um, let's go to front view and I'm going to rotate this on the x axis R X 90 enter and rotate it on the z axis R Z 90 enter. Uh, let's go to top view 7 and Let's uh, hold control, press A, and apply a rotation. Okay, let's go up here in the outliner and change it, change the name of it to track, T-R-A-C-K, track. And let's hide that for a minute here. And let's add a curve, shift a curve path, add a curve path. Let's press tab to go into edit mode. And let's select this um, vertex and extrude it, E extrude over here, again extrude it over to here, and then here, and then let's select this vertex here, I'm going to extrude this one over to here, and then here, up here, 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 and then over to here, 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 and let's go to front view, press 1 on the dump pad, and you're going to move this, press G, move this, and we're going to um, make a loop. 
Okay, so now extrude again, E. Make a loop for the roller coaster. Like this. We're done here. Now, we have to, um, let's see, we got to move these some of these vertices so the, uh, the loop um, is not um, overlapping against itself. So select, select those vertices and just move them on the y-axis. There you go. So that way the, the roller coaster won't crash into the track when it goes the other part of the loop. Uh, back to top view 7. Select this uh, vertex here and extrude it. E. Extrude again. E. And then E. Bring it over to about here. Press tab to go into object mode. And, and now what I need to do is I need to... Um, Complete, this, complete the circuit and there's probably a better way to do this but this is the only way that I know how to do it what I'm going to do is um, with this selected we're in object mode let's go up here to this object thing and we're going to convert this to a mesh okay and then let's press tab to go back into edit mode press A then press 1 to go to vertex select and you just select the last vertex and the first vertex like this and you press M and you just merge its center uh, press tab to go back into object mode and I'm, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to object here and I'm going to I'm going to convert it back to a curve okay let's curve again now uh, let's unhide our uh, unhide our track let's go here to seven now it looks like uh, the path needs to be a little bit bigger so just select the path and we're just going to scale it up scale it up like that Okay, and now you want to select the track and you want to apply rotation, hold control press A and apply rotation. Okay, and then you want to give, um, give the track a modifier, you're going to give it an array modifier. Okay, and then you're going to give it another modifier, you're going to give it a curve modifier. And um, the curve object is going to be the path, the NURBS path, okay. And then you're going to go back up here to the array modifier, go to the Okay, so we're going to go up here to the count, we're going to increase the count to a high number, let's increase it to say uh, 200. Enter. And that, that was even too high. Uh, lower it maybe to 150. Enter. And even that's too high, so let's, let's lower it again, maybe. 20, wow, maybe 100, okay, and that's just about right, and then just uh, 101, that's perfect for that, um, so there you go, um, I actually think that the, uh, uh, it'd be kind of nice for a stylized thing, yeah, we can go with that, I guess, um, uh, let's see, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so let's go with this. Um, and what I'm going to do is go to Top View 7, and I'm going to add a cube, Shift A, Mesh, Cube. Let's go up close. I'm going to scale this up on the x-axis, SX, like this. And then I'm going to um, press this the forward slash button, and that's just going to isolate the... Um, this cube. We're going to give it a bevel. I'm sorry, not an array. We're going to give it a bevel modifier, and we're going to apply the bevel modifier. And then we're going to press Tab to go in it. Edit mode. Press three on the keyboard to go to face select. Select this face. And we're going to extrude and scale it in. E S, like that. And let's um, scale it up on the x axis. S X, just to even it out a little bit. Let's go to front view one and let's go to wireframe view Z4 and let's just extrude it down E, extrude this down so you got this. Let's go back into, let's go into material preview Z and then material preview. So there we've got a car, a roller coaster car. Um, let's tab into edit mode, let's give this a new material. 
I'm just going to give it kind of a yellow color here. Uh, let's press forward slash again to bring everything back. And what we're going to do is we want to give this, give the car a, uh, I can even rename that, RC car, roller coaster car. Um, I'm going to give it a constraint. So go here to constraint properties and then add object constraint and select follow path and then click follow curve and then the target is going to be the nerves path and it's over here now and what you want to do is um, you want to just rotate it like this maybe move it over a little bit um, like that and then move it up on the uh, z-axis gz like this so it's on top of the track it's a little bit of a I uh, usually have a little bit of a uh, distortion here at the beginning and the end of the track. I don't know what to do about that, but um, anyway, uh, so what you want to do now is you want to um, click animate, select animate path, and now we can play this, and it's going around. Okay, so uh, what you want to do is um, you want to duplicate this shift D and then left click and then just leave, leave this in this follow path uh, window here and then, and then for offset you want to just move, move the offset to here okay and then you want to do the same thing shift D left click and then again move the offset to here let's go to top view so we can see it a little better um, and then do it again shift D left click change the offset um, I think that's enough cars for this little thing. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, actually should go back to I'm going to go back to frame one. Okay, and select the first car. Let me go to side view three. This is at the uh, maybe control three, the other side. Okay. And what I'm going to do is um, again press the forward slash to isolate the this first car. I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode and I'm going to add a, a vertical loop cut here. Control R, left click twice. I'm going to add a horizontal loop cut. Control R, left click twice. I'm going to press 3 on the keyboard to go to face select. I'm going to select this face, this face, this face, and this face. Okay, and we're just going to bring them down on the z-axis, GZ. Bring it down. Just give that, that first, so we're going to give them the first car kind of an angle, an angled front there. And let's press uh, forward slash again to go back into, um, to bring everything back. And then let's uh, press tab to go in object mode. And let's do this. Now, uh, let's see, let me play it again here. Now it's going a little bit fast. And actually the, uh, let's go back to one here. And there. It looks like the uh, offset on this last one is too much, so I'm just going to decrease that. Okay, and it's going too fast. So what I, what I find to be a good uh, way, uh, a way to do it is you put the, the end frame to 400, and then you select the nerves path, and then go down here to object data properties for the curve. You go here to path animation, click on this arrow, change the frames to 400. But what did that do with the? Uh, okay, you know what? I messed up the uh, messed up the offsets. Let's go back here to uh, here, and I'm gonna have to change the offset again. Yeah, let's get the third car. Change the offset. Getting a little complicated here, but uh, and then the fourth car. Change the offset. Okay, it's good to top view again. Seven. Uh, looks a little sloppy here. Uh, let me move this one back a little bit. Uh, Back to here. This one, move it back to there. So move it back. Okay, so now let's play this, and that looks good. Maybe a little too slow, actually. So I'm gonna I'm gonna change this to 300. It might mess up the offset again, but uh, uh, select the path, nerves path. Change the frames to 300, enter, and um, go back to frame one here, enter, 
and it did kind of mess the offset up again. So let's go back to construction. Now another thing you we want to put on here is um, you can go to different parts of the track and you'll see the offset is not that great. Okay. Um, now another thing you want to do is um, you want to let's go to front view here one. And we're going to add a cylinder shift A mesh cylinder. Let's scale it up S Z forty enter. Scale it up in the Z and let's scale it down like this. And what you want to do is you want to move it, G, move it over to here. Let's go to front view or side view three. Let's move it over on the uh, Y axis, move it over to here. Actually, control three here. Move it over to here and you want to rotate it like this. And then move this over here on the uh, Y axis like this. And then you want to take, um, you want to put the 3D cursor here. So you, you hold down shift, put the, th put the regular cursor here, hold down shift, and then right click, puts the 3D cursor here. And we're going to add an empty shift A, empty plane axis. The plane axis is empty. You see it's right here. Okay. Okay, so now uh, let's select the cylinder and you're going to give it a mirror modifier okay and then the mirror object is going to be the, the empty and let's let's change the axis from X to Y and um, let's go back to front view here one this is rotated like this move this back and maybe move it up a little bit on the Z axis like this what you want to do is, um, and now this has got to be moved here, or at least rotated, because um, it's going right through the, right through there, so let's move it over to here. And there you go, that's good. And then you can just um, duplicate it, Shift E, and then just rotate the duplicate on the Z axis, RZ180. And you know what happened is, uh, let, me, let me do this. Let me just go back here. You want to apply that mirror modifier and then duplicate it. Shift D. And then you want to rotate it. R. Oops. Back. I'm sorry. Got that duplicate there. Rotate it. R, Z, 180. Enter. And then move it on the X axis over to here. And move it on the Y axis over here. Line it up here. Now this one, uh, it looks like it's, uh, yeah, it's just missing the track. So that's going to add a little excitement in the roller coaster. Let's just, uh, maybe, uh, okay, so then you might want to add another one here. Let's go to side view here, three, and you want to duplicate this, shift D, G, bring this one over to here, and maybe go to top view seven, and we're just going to rotate this, R, Z, 90, enter, G, just put it over here. And um, so you got support beams, that looks kind of realistic. And then what you want to do is you want to go to front view one and you want to add, let's, um, let's put the 3D cursor back. So you go shift C, that puts the 3D cursor back to the world origin here. And then you want to add a plane, shift A, mesh, plane. Let's go to top view seven. Let's scale this up, S, 150, enter. That's nice and big. And then uh, let's go to front view one and let's bring it down, GZ, bring it down to about here. And let's give it a material, new material. And we'll make it green. All right. Okay, so now let's play this again here. There you go. There's our uh, stylized roller coaster. Looks pretty cool. Um, that looks better.